This is Jay Richards at Discovery Institute, and we're here at the COSM 2019 conference, and I'm joined by Bob Marks. Uh, Bob is the director of the Bradley Center for Natural and Artificial Intelligence here at the Discovery Institute, and also a distinguished professor at Baylor University, and he has been here talking about artificial intelligence. Bob, good to see you. Yeah, it's, it's great to be here. Yeah, there was a terrific panel you were part of yesterday on on AI, which has been an abiding theme of the conference. But right. How would you sort of sum up the discussion? Well, one of the things we try to do at the Bradley Center, especially, and I'll give a plug, mindmatters.ai, yeah. yes. is try to keep uh, AI on a honest, uh, honest level. Mm -hmm. There is so much hype about artificial intelligence yes. today, and we, want, we wanted to bring it in the panel uh, to the point where you know th th there was a little bit of sanity, mm -hmm. and it was really um, it was really a great panel with George Montanez, yes. the, he the head of the uh, Allen Center, uh, and uh, I think it came across very very well. It did. Yeah. Well, you know, and it was I, I guess I wasn't expecting there to be quite as much agreement in the panel, and I know it was organized as there was, but of course Ray Kurzweil had. Uh, had beamed in at two o'clock, and Ray did you know the thing that he's <laughs> yeah, famous yeah, for. Kind of Star, yeah, he did. Star Trek stuff. Yeah, exactly. And so it was really good, and of course he's very much a, a sort of I'd say a techno optimist, and in fact you know he sort of thinks we're going to get brain scans and upload ourselves. Whereas the panel, though I know there was a diversity of opinion among the panelists. There was. Nevertheless, there was I thought a, a strong dose of realism, both optimism about what we can do, but also realism as to the limits. Yeah, the, uh, one of the things the panel kind of debunked from that philosophy was the idea that we are actually downloadable. Mm -hmm. Because there's part of us in our brains that cannot be captured by computer code, mm -hmm. that is non-algorithmic. Okay. And so therefore that non-algorithmic part can't be uploaded. You can only upload the algorithmic part of mm -hmm. your brain. I mean, there are algorithmic things sure. we do like add numbers and things yeah. of that sort. but. Uh, uh, other aspects such as uh, creativity mm -hmm. and qualia, right. you know, the experiencing the things. Yes. Uh, those are not algorithmic and they cannot be replicated in a computer. Well, that's the odd thing about this discussion now, and Elon Musk apparently believes this, that maybe we're actually just part of a simulation, a right. computer simulation, but how do you simulate first person perspective? I mean, I don't, I don't even know that that's actually all that well formulated or well, even coherent. Actually, that's, that's very interesting because I think there's a presupposition on Musk's part that we are indeed algorithmic, that we yeah. can actually be represented by an algorithm, by a computer code, yes. and indeed there's evidence. And this is not evidence in you know a philosophical kind sure. of uh, arguing sense. There's there's good foundations in algorithmic information theory and computer mm -hmm. science, which suggest that there are indeed non-algorithmic uh, phenomena, and uh, there, there's as strong evidence that the qualities I mentioned, such as creativity and understanding and uh, qualia are above and beyond the capabilities of algorithms mm -hmm. and computability. Well, so that's, I mean, it's embedded in the name of the Bradley Center, right? I mean, this, yes. this, this distinction between natural and artificial intelligence. I mean, exactly. What's the, point, what's the key point of that distinction, do you think? Well, I think that a lot of people would say that there's an equality sign between the artificial and the natural yes. intelligence, and people like uh, Dr. Kurzweil whom I respect in terms of his, uh, his many technical accomplishments, believes that there is a materialistic um, model that mm -hmm. he must adhere to, and that materialistic model is that the brain is a computer. Right. And that goes along with Marvin Minsky, one of the founders of artificial intelligence, and, uh, and other people, whereas there's evidence from neuroscience and mm -hmm. neurosurgeons that Indeed, that isn't the case, that the, that the mind is, uh, uh, there's something greater than the brain involved with the mind. Right, it's not just a machine made of meat. It's, it's right, that's planet. exactly right, that's yeah. exactly right. And that's one of the, uh, one of the tying influences, I think, in, in, in discovery and the things we're doing. We're doing artificial intelligence, which says that computer software, for example, can never be creative. Yes. So all, any creativity that seems to come out of artificial intelligence always comes from the computer programmer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come. It doesn't come from the AI itself. The computer does exactly what you tell it to do. I think on the business side, which was something which was talked a lot, here, yes. is you have that same sort of thing. You have creativity and entrepreneurism, and that creativity is something which 
can only come from humans. Yeah, and that's what Jordan Montanez on the panel. He also said fact, that. said, yeah, that uh, effectively, machines will do the things that machines can do. Right. And can do well, and maybe in narrowly focused ways, can do better than us, and then that will leave us to do the human stuff. The human stuff, yeah. exactly. I but but I think the, the key is the creativity. Yes. That AI creativity is not from the AI, it's from the computer program. Entrepreneurism and business uh, comes from humans also. No, absolutely. And our, our non-algorithmic yeah. Creativity. Yeah, if we could algorithm, yeah, I mean, yeah, we'd just build a program for uh, creating new businesses. And exactly. You know, gonna yeah. You're never going to have AI that's an uh, entrepreneur. <laughs> that's right. So what's your takeaway from this conference? I mean, which is the first of what we hope will be many of these COSM conferences. Well, you know, it was a melding of so many different areas. Mm -hmm. Like, we just got done um, with a session with George Gilder in terms of uh, China yes. and things happening with China, which was fascinating. Also, artificial intelligence, the mm -hmm. impact of artificial intelligence on, on business. Um, and that, that was a theme of the conference. Mm -hmm. Also, blockchains, which is a... It came up a lot. Yeah, yeah. Block, blockchains uh, and how they're going to revolutionize the world, which, which I agree with. They're mm -hmm. a powerful, powerful concept. And um, so there was the thread in here and the, and the caliber of people that were attracted to this conference. Yes. Steve Forbes and, and, and George Gilder and Carver Mead. Right. And, uh, the CTO of the United States. Yeah, <laughs> year, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the head of the Mint? Yes, the head of the, former head of the U.S. Yeah, Mint. U.S. Yeah, Mint definitely. was here. And, uh, you know, we had, you know, top people from Amazon and, and Google, for mm -hmm. example, with Ray Kurzweil. Yeah. And uh, it really showed some of the top leaders and top movers and shakers of, of the industry and business, and also the investigation of artificial intelligence. Yeah, that's so it was really, 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 really an exciting uh, experience, and I look forward to the next one. Definitely. Yeah. Bob, thanks for joining me. Good okay. to see you. Thank you. You too. This is Jay Richards at Cosm 2019.